then you made sure the first dominion has control over the second dominion. I say it's time for the first dominion to come. Lord, let thy kingdom come. I want God speaking new things into my life. I want God bringing bringing light out of darkness. I want my God bringing us up, speaking new life, multiplying fruit. How are we going to see babies born in the spirit if it's man that's in charge? Oh, but when the spirit of Almighty God cuts loose and he's in charge, we will see babies born. You see, in the first dominion, verse number two says, and the Spirit of God moved. You see, when the re- there's a return of the first dominion, there will also be a return of a move of God. I want God to move. I want the Spirit to move in my life. I want the Spirit to move in the boot hill. I want the Spirit to move in our churches. I want the Spirit to move in backsliders' homes. I want the Spirit to move wherever the prodigals are. I want the Spirit to move in the hospitals. I want the Spirit to move. But the Spirit will not move if the second dominion wants to stay in charge. The apostle said, quench not the spirit. If I could rephrase that in the Rick Lovell version, he would really be saying, hey, would you let the first dominion come? Yes. Quit trying to force the second dominion. Every time you want to have the final say or the first word, you're trying to force your kingdom into this kingdom. time I say that, I just feel a... Why, why do you got to have the first say or the final say? Why, why would somebody want to have the first word or the final say? You're going to get one up, one way or another. You're going to get that one in or you're going to get that one in. And now you may not get the final say in it until after you're gone and sitting at home and having the pastor for supper. Man, I'm just... That's not the kind of message you want to show up somebody else's house and preach. But somebody needs to hear me real clear. You're not going to have a move of God in your family like you're wanting it if you're not in the unity of the Spirit, if you're not letting the kingdom of the Lord come in your life. Your mouth will talk God out of blessing you. Oh, it won't sound like, now God don't bless me. But it's going to sound like, well, I just don't think he's right about that. I just don't think, I want Jesus to cast out darkness and shine his light in my life. If there's something in scripture my eyes aren't seeing that they need to see, I pray, dear God, let your light shine. Reveal it unto me. Oh God, I don't want to see scripture with man's vision. I want to see it through your eyes, oh God. Reveal your kingdom to me. I want Jesus to speak new life into churches. My God. Stand and 
That's the word of the Lord. That is the word of the Lord right there. The first dominion wants to return. The first kingdom wants to return. The move of God wants to return. But the second kingdom must fall. The kingdom of man must fall. Our opinions and structure and processes. Who cares who gets the first word or the final say? They must all submit to what does the Spirit say? I'm telling somebody in here tonight, we have got to have an outpouring of the Holy Ghost. And my kingdom has to fall because his kingdom wants to prevail. Somebody needs to respond to this right now. I don't have a whole lot of notes left. I'm just calling to tell somebody if we would find a place of submission, if we'll find a place of destroying our own kingdom, we will see the return of his. If you've got backsliders in your family, I'd be falling on my face right now just making sure that there's nothing in my life that's going to hold back his glory. (laughs) 